I'm having panic panic attacks well. Um booking, but <sighs> so apparently you need a credit card to book flights. I don't have that. So there goes my um plans out of the window. Update. My flights are booked. Ah, so excited. Um, I also I also made my bag already, but I found this one in the store yesterday. So this is gonna be my bag to take with me. I still have to fill it, and I also have these like little um containers to put stuff in because I only am flying with hand luggage. So what I'm gonna do first? Or pack my bags or book my stay. Ah, I'm going to Rome. What the fuck? So I'm gonna pierce my ears. I have Corona. So today is the day. I am shitting bricks right now. Um, <sighs> so today is the day I take my very first flight by my own to take my very first trip by my own. And I'm super excited but also super nervous because I'm a very nervous and anxious ridden person. So my case, whatever that is called, is like filled and then i also have a backpack that is not yet ready but that's like the essentials like my camera my phone my ipad um liquids tickets whatever my heart rate is going like crazy so i am very nervous uh i just arrived i also don't know where the, f where the fuck i have to be so my friend drove in the parking instead of the drop off so i didn't know how to get to the airport i am here right now with um, stress spots, obviously, but I'm pretty excited. Still very stressy, but pretty excited. So update, I'm sitting on the floor at the airport. I've been through security and once again been checked for drugs, which is routine now. And I almost mistook someone else's luggage for mine because we had the same one. Uh, so I arrived alive and well in Rome. Um, we did have a thunderstorm which made us get like an hour delay, but we survived. Now I have to go look for a train to get to my hostel or whatever. I'm on the train. I am whispering because there's not a lot of people on the train and it's awkward and people can probably understand me now. So sweating my balls off. But I survived the flight and whatever else comes besides it. So now hopefully that the hostel is not a bust and then I'm gonna look for something to eat and plan my week out. Excited. Good morning. Um, it is quarter past eight. I'm not going to look for something to eat. Yesterday was very like late and I was tired and I actually didn't eat. So now I'm just looking for a cute cafe. I'm just gonna settle there, read my book, and then after I'm going to the Coliseum probably. So I am walking to the Coliseum right now and I've already seen two McDonald's, so that's fun. Uh, I also bought oh this one because you need this like some places so and I'm already sweating and it's 20 degrees so. I am dying it is pretty dark Right now, I'm going to a very touristy, touristy 
uh, thing so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to film myself because I'm awkward and if I'm gonna be able to enter it because tickets but look <laughs> it's so casual like I was walking towards it and then I turned the street and there it was that it was really weird but we'll see we'll see How crazy is this? So, I, I'm i not sure if I'm gonna do a guided tour But the thing is, an entry ticket is like 28 euros And a guided tour via whatever uh, site is like 31 And like, it really hot as balls This is like the closest I'll get to the downstairs area because I didn't take a guided tour. But I'm gonna make sure I don't drop this thing. It's very interesting and very pretty and very big. Huh? Look what? Now I'm gonna look for something to drink. So. The Coliseum is okay without a guide because you can't get lost but like there's this Roman foreign palatine and that is like a place to get lost in so if I can give a tip get a guide for the foreign palatine whatever because I have been somewhere and I don't know where and uh, I'm just gonna go so I just took a nap because I didn't sleep a lot last night and then I went very early to the Coliseum so I just had a little dip I met two of my new roommates I think they're both from Japan they're pretty nice and now I'm just gonna go to the train station and there's like McDonald's and Five Guys and I'm just gonna look what they have and see if they have things that we don't have in both and then tonight Go to a little cute restaurant, get some pizza or pasta and a great glass of wine. What I did notice though is that they don't have rosé. Like anywhere, so we'll see. It is just, it is real, but I'm gonna do this. Look at this cute thing I'm sitting at. Um, I'm drinking a Bellini because I still can't get it get over it to try Aperol Spritz. It's really great to meet like new people when you're alone because it's just like the way you're talking to first people. Otherwise, you don't talk to anyone. Also, you haven't seen the fit. My hair is in a claw right now because it's still hot as balls. I also have my um, this with me. So I've also already had compliments, not from the right people here, but you know cat calling and whatnot there was someone that came up to me and said hi my name is this are you all right yeah okay thank you look at this greatness so hi it's the next day i didn't go out pretty late i just went back to the room i'm already sweating um, today i'm going to the trevi fountain and like those sides because there's also like um, shops there so I packed a full bag look at this how cute it is I bought it yesterday I had breakfast on like the stairs of a pretty building and then there was like a bee that is three times as big as the bees in Belgium so I was scared as shitless but also look at this pretty view also this looks like the Royal Guard or something. I don't even know what this is. A lot of pretty buildings. It's crazy how many people are here. 
Did she that? Crazy. But it's still beautiful. I thought it was smaller. So I'm in this little cute diner, whatever, drinking some wine and eating a fried uh, calzone. That is very hot. It's so fucking big. Also, I got stung by something, I don't know what, and it stinks. Like stinks, it hurts. It, I'm in severe discomfort. I don't know what to do. My last full day here and look at the weather. It's about to storm. So I was planning on making like uh, what I eat in a day in Rome kind of stuff, but first I have to look for something for breakfast. It's also like 10.30 in the morning because yesterday I went out and it was like 3 before I 3 30 before I fell asleep, so I'm tired and I have to look for food. So if it's gonna rain on me, I'm gonna be pissed. I got some mass breakfast this morning. Then I went back to the room because it was raining and I didn't want to go outside. So I watched some two broke girls and sleep, slept a bit because I'm still a little bit hungover. And the fact that I'm, my roommates were still sleeping because why not? It's like 1.30. Now, I'm gonna maybe look for some lunch and buy some souvenirs for my family. Cause that's cute. All right, bye. My camera's super dirty. So I'm sitting on the floor eating Five Guys. Like not yet eaten, but planning to eat Five Guys. It's blue. It's Powerade. Um, first time trying Five Guys. Also, I didn't try it the first day because I wasn't into it. So I have a cheese dog. I don't even know how it looks. There's too many people in like the restaurant, kind of. And that's why I can't sit there. So now I'm sitting on the floor. So this is probably one of the last times that I'm walking through Roma Termini. Um, I just ordered my taxi for tonight. Like, in the morning whatever because I can't take the bus because it's so early um, I am checked in already my taxi is okay I can check out at any time just have to leave the key in the room and uh, yeah it's my last full day in Rome it was my last full day in Rome now I'm gonna look for something to eat I've seen like a uh, Pasta, cacio e pepe, and I have been looking forward to that for a few days. So I don't know why I haven't eaten it earlier, but I don't know if it's gonna be cacio e pepe or carbonara. But I am also glad that I can go back home. I've missed home, I've missed my brother, it's weird. Almost going back home. downstairs to the front desk to get to my taxi because it's, it's so early that I can get a bus or a train. I'm so freaking tired but I'm also hungry and I can't find anything that I would like to eat. I also have I also need new water because I just dumped you know drink drank all my water before security. I'm so tired why did I take another flight? Oh yeah, because otherwise it was gonna be too expensive. I'm a cheap bitch. So now I'm walking towards the gate and hopefully there's something over there to eat because I'm starving. Hi, so I'm back home as you can see. It is also like 5.50 um, in the evening. I arrived at 8.50 just 
as expected my mom came and got me and yeah then we went home I ate my breakfast very late and then I went to sleep because I was dead tired I was like trying to keep myself awake um nothing special I also didn't get tested for drugs which makes me think it only happens in Brussels so yeah, that was my very first solo trip and I, I hope you really enjoyed this video because I did making it. I will see you on my next video.